Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted and clarified why Tesla rejected EU money for Giga Berlin's battery plan. You know, in one of my previous reports, I talked about this, but now there is a clear clarification from Elon Musk. Elon Musk says lessons he learned from a previous 465 million Department of Energy loan is the reason why Tesla decided to forego a 1.5 billion euros EU incentive for the Giga Berlin battery plant. Welcome back friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up if you are here first time. Tesla is currently building a new battery factory at Grünheide at Giga Berlin in Germany. Construction of the battery plant is taking place in the Giga Berlin premises and when complete will produce Tesla's newest, you know, revolutionary 4680 battery cells which are supposed to have better density energy and longer range. According to Tesla, this 4680 batteries contain several manufacturing design um, and cell chemistry breakthroughs, giving the new batteries a 54% increase in energy density and a 69% reduction in capital expenditures per kilowatt hour. The 4680 battery cells are initially expected to go into the refreshed Model Y that will be produced at Giga Berlin and Giga Texas. According to Tesla, the refreshed Model Y with the 4680 battery cells and new architecture will begin deliveries in early 2022. Based on Elon Musk's preview statement, we expect the refreshed Model Y to have a 475 miles range overall improved design and a new paint scheme with added colors that subtly change with curvature, says uh, Tinsai Aregai from Torque News Tesla reporting to him. One crucial step to achieve volume production of the refreshed Model Y with these 4680 batteries is the Giga Berlin's battery plant. The construction of the battery factory is currently progressing very rapidly. In our earlier report, we discussed the details of the 1.5 billion euros incentives Tesla had received for the battery plant and the possible reasons Tesla decided not to take the money. And now Elon Musk has confirmed why Tesla chose to forego the incentive. According to Musk, Tesla decided to not take the money from EU because the terms of the incentive were so onerous that they made the potential benefit not worth it. In about a moment, I will quote what Elon Musk said. Musk drew parallels with the 465 million Department of Energy loan Tesla received from the US government back in 2010. At the time, the loan made Tesla the target of politically motivated attacks. Tesla's name was even mentioned in one of the presidential debates as evidence of President Obama's lack of judgment when giving out taxpayer dollars to electric startups. And now, Elon Musk says the lesson Tesla learned from the Department of Energy loans is the reason why Musk and team have decided to forego the 1.5 billion euros for the Giga Berlin battery plant. In a tweet to Alex, a user on Twitter who tweeted about Tesla waving over 1 billion euros in battery production, uh, bustly for, uh, uh, for uh, Giga Berlin, Elon Musk wrote, quote, We learned our lesson with 465 million DOE, Department of Energy, loan received in 2010-2011. Onerous terms exceeded value of money received. That's why we paid it back so early, despite an early repayment penalty. It's not yet clear if Tesla's decision will put the EV maker at a disadvantage, but we will be sure to keep you posted if we'll learn more about the issue. So please subscribe to our channel as we're going to keep our finger on the pulse of this development. Make sure to visit our website also, torquenews.com slash Tesla for the latest information. So what do you think, friends? Is Tesla right for not taking the EU incentive? Do you think this decision will put the company in a, at a disadvantage? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. You know, remember that 1.5 billion dollars 
It's just one or two weeks of operating cash for Tesla. So uh, this is Armin Hari. I'm from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Join our community. We have great discussions. And um, let's move on to our next Tesla story. Peace be with all of you. God bless you. And I'll see you soon in our next Tesla story. Elon Musk is buying up more and more startup companies to make Tesla less dependent on suppliers. These 11 companies he could take over next. Elon Musk has set itself the goal of becoming as independent as possible from external suppliers. The CEO of the electric car company Tesla therefore regularly buys startups also to expand the products and services offered by his company. Experts believe Musk's next move could uh, be to acquire battery ride sharing and insurance companies. Business Insiders from Germany has uh, published a very interesting idea uh, article talking about 11 types of companies that Elon Musk may buy and I'm going to present them to, to you. So Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been trying for years to minimize Tesla's dependency on suppliers and I think this is very wise and it is not afraid to keep buying actually it's not afraid to keep buying up new startup companies. Tesla's accomplishments range from solar cell companies to batteries to autonomous driving systems and show um, how the electric car giant is trying to keep offering new products under the Tesla name. Musk is currently focusing on insurance and energy storage companies while Tesla is also continuing to develop batteries and autonomous driving systems. Uh, Business Insider Germany reports. Business Insider interviewed auto industry experts about Elon Musk's next potential purchases and the company's future plans. So one of the first ones is automated driving. Tesla, Business Insider says, is trying to turn the autopilot of Tesla vehicles into a chauffeur, but the development is nowhere near so far that drivers can sleep while driving. The company follows an unconventional approach to autonomous driving and relies on a camera-based system and not like the competition on radar and LiDAR sensors. According to Asad Hussein, a mobility analyst at PitchBook, startups that specialize in camera technology would be a good addition to Tesla. Two ways to do this would be Hipper, which was founded by the former CEO of Zooks and Wave. Another option would be Recogni. The startup develops software and hardware that makes object uh, recognition on the road more efficient. So this could be possible targets for Elon Musk. By the way, I will have the link of Business Insider's report in the description of this video. So please guys check out. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our share, uh, web, uh, YouTube channel. Ride sharing is the next target for Elon Musk. Musk said in 2019 that Tesla plans to offer a ride-sharing service by the end of 2020. This should enable Tesla owners with autonomous driving system to make their car available to others via an app. Tesla service should work like Uber or Lyft only without a driver. The service does not yet exist, however. Tesla seems to lack the technology infrastructure to offer this service, but taking over a startup could help. Revel and Captain are already running small ride-sharing services via Tesla cars and would be a good fit, says Assad Hussein. Before I go to the next one, which is insurance, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news in this channel and uh, also jo join our conversations in the comments section below. We have great intelligent com uh, comments. Insurance. Tesla has been offering insurance to its customers since 2019, but so far they are only available in California and Texas. The car maker wants to introduce this service in other countries as well and start up with a broad customer base could make that easier. Mark Norman, managing partner at FM Capital, believes that Tesla should most likely focus on startups that sell directly to their customers and not negotiate through third-party providers. This is the strategy that the electric car manufacturer Tesla is also pursuing with its vehicles. Norman sees 
Clerco, uh, Clercover and Metro Mile. I hope I'm presenting them rightly. Clercover and Metro Mile as possible takeover candidates by Tesla. The next one is in the service industry. In addition to these sales processes, Tesla also controls its service network itself. This includes workshops and technicians who drive to the customer's home or office to repair the vehicle. Elon Musk could expand these services further, for example, by offering mobile top-up services for private users or companies. According to Mark Norman, Spark Charge and FreeWire would help Tesla right with that. Next, uh, the next one in our list, of course, is batteries. You know that Tesla is working on 4680 batteries right now, and we hope to have some updates on that soon. Due to the increasing demand for electric cars, batteries have become the focus of the industry. Tesla announced last year that the company was developing its own battery cells to improve costs and performance and reduce dependency on suppliers. The acquisition of Maxwell in 2019 was Tesla's first battery acquisition and brought dry electro technology into the company. If Tesla bought out another startup, it would likely be one that makes battery materials that fit into Tesla's existing manufacturing process. According to Luke Gear, uh, technical analyst at ID Tech X, that could be Scylla Nanotechnologies and Group 14, although it's unclear how much Tesla would actually benefit from such an acquisition. Well, friends, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about all these possible Tesla, uh, Tesla acquisitions? And uh, do you think Tesla may buy them to make itself more independent? Possibly. I don't know. But I would like to hear your comments. And if you are here first time, please join our community. Subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and analysis and discussions. We have news, a couple of them every day. And this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a great day. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you and your families and your loved ones. Let's live our lives by loving each other and thanking God for everything that we have. We truly have a lot to thank for. And let's move on to our next story. I'll see you soon in our next story. God bless you.